bolts and a lock. And yes, I do have a chainsaw. Actually, I have three of them. Uh, this is my electric chainsaw. It's 14 inch, 110 volt powered electric chainsaw that I picked up at uh, antique shop because uh, some of them are kind of flea markets. This one cost me half the price of a new one, so I said it was well worth the money. And I have used it now for almost four years. So the 25 bucks I spent on it was more than paid back because I've cut down trees and done all kinds of stuff with it. It's kind of nice because I don't have to haul the gas tank around. All I have to do is fill it with a cord, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But two man saws work, but two man saws with a one man guy uh, makes the job a little bit more difficult than what I want to do. And the electric chainsaw does have the advantage of when I let go of the trigger, the chain stops. I don't have to worry about uh, starting it when I'm standing on top of a ladder. Uh, just pull the trigger and it goes. So it's well worth the trouble to keep it going. The problem with buying something for little or no money is you always end up getting what you paid for. And in this case, I got a chainsaw that's not very robust. It works. But it uh, has a tendency to have the chain come off and also the chain guard, actually the hand guard, is pretty flimsy. I fixed it once, took it apart, patched the crack with super glue, put some JB weld on it, stiffened it up, and that weak spot, that's held pretty good. But all it does is when you reinforce one weak spot, the next weaker spot then becomes the weak spot. So to get to the chain guard, I have to take off the chain. That involves some fiddling. Because the guard is held on with these two bolts that actually hold the chain in place too. That's a nice design. Economical, and it works. have to withstand a lot of gaff. Every once in a while, I bang into something. And since it's a guard, it's designed to take the hit. It's more important that it take the hit than my knuckles. So that part of the operation is actually successful. The guard takes the hit. My knuckles don't, and the little saw sometimes gets hit pretty hard. Put the pieces in a little collection place so that I have a pretty good handle on where they are when I need them. Then I need to get some mineral spirits and clean things up and I can take the saw out of the way now. This connection is right near the fill for the oiler. So it does tend to get a little oil on it. And I want to make sure that I have it all cleaned off before I try and glue it. OK, 
Okay. Make some super glue and maybe a little bit of metal banding around that to help reinforce it. If I put any holes in it, all I'm going to do is weaken the structure. Okay, we'll mix up some JB Weld and put a tack on that. See if we can't get it started to hold together. 